Welcome. If you're familiar with Chronicles of Crime, the original, this is very similar. And if you're not, that's okay. That's okay. It's if you're not be... familiar, it's incredibly different. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be really easy. Uh, we're gonna let the game teach us how it's played. We're just gonna run through the tutorial mission. Kicking things off with a tutorial. Welcome to the Chronicles of Crime 1400 tutorial. Disclaimer, this scenario is an introduction to the game, which explains that, whatever, tapping next. Chronicles of Crime 1400 is a cooperative game where all the players work together to solve a crime. You play as Abelard Lavelle, a knight famous for unraveling the mysteries of medieval Paris. Ooh. We are all one person. Tapping the little hamburger in the lower left of your screen opens the menu where you can access the history feature. This allows you to browse through all the screens to play, displayed so far. Start by setting up all the game components. I did that. Wow. Keep the location boards in a pile. For now, reveal only the home location with three portraits of your family members who are a monk, a merchant, and a spy. Mm -hmm. We have an eclectic family. We do. Right? Separate the evidence category cards from the special item cards. Get familiar with all the evidence categories. Keep them face up and browse through them freely during the game. Special item cards, however, should be kept together in a face down pile. So you guys can, we can look through these whenever we feel like we need to figure something out. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Separate the dog card from the character cards and put it on the table. Keep the character cards in a face down pile. Keep the vision cards in a face down pile. At the beginning of each scenario, you'll be informed which of these cards to reveal. Each scenario begins with you having a prophetic dream represented by vision cards. Mm -hmm. For this scenario, take vision card number one, which is probably this one, and put it face up on the table. The vision cards depict scenes from either the near future or the recent past, giving additional context mm. that may help you solve the case. That's card number 11. Somebody want to fish that out? Among the evidence, uh, the, the ca evidence category cards, find the jewelry card. This represents the lost ring. Bam! Put the card in the blue area of the evidence board to mark that you know about this object, mm -hmm. but haven't found it yet. Interesting. My master also sends you this pouch of coins to cover any expenses, continues the messenger boy. Money. Card number 38. 38? Put the coins card on the red area of the evidence board to mark that you physically possess this item. Mm. Aha. If you are willing to help my master, please visit him at his apartment near the Notre Dame Cathedral, says the boy, who then leaves. That's location A. A location has been mentioned. Place the corresponding location board on the table. Aha! Notice that location boards are double-sided. Do this every time a new location is mentioned. Cool. To travel to the location, tap next and then scan the QR code printed upon the board. And here we go. Scan it. Wow! Ooh, ooh, it... There we go. <laughs> we have gone to the Alerts apartment. You arrive at an elegant apartment in a prestigious location near the Notre Dame Cathedral. An angry looking nobleman, 27, opens the door and lets you in. He introduces himself as Cedric Allart, and yeah. he declares that he's the one who sent the messenger. Oh, he probably goes on the people. Probably goes on that board, oh, since yeah. that's where we. Oh! You, you probably go spots. on that board. Oh, okay. At the back of the room, you can see a well dressed silent woman, card number one. Mm. Take Ow. character cards 27 and 1 and place them on the location board. Very nice. Do this every time a new character is mentioned. If you want to interact with a character, scan the QR code on their card. For now, try talking to Cedric. You are now in conversation mode with Cedric and can ask him about people or objects by scanning their cards. You are only allowed to use cards that have been revealed to you already. Start by asking, him, uh, asking Cedric about himself. You can scan his card again. Character 25 has been mentioned, but you don't know what her whereabouts. Put 25 in the unknown location. That's at the bottom. Oh, there it is. That's unknown location spot right there. There you go. Oh, should we? Oh, no. Yeah, I think we know. Yeah. Face up. Yeah, we know we're looking for her somewhere. That's what she looks like. Your mission has just been described to you. You need to establish why the servant and the ring disappeared and where mm. they are now. These are the things you'll be asked about when you decide to finish the game. Search the room, find, or uh, first end the conversation by tapping goodbye uh, button, and then you can search the room. Cool. 
physically turn around to check the scene in 300. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you how this works. All right, we're saying goodbye to him. Shall we search the scene? Sure. All right. Countdown. Okay, there's a Bible. There's a potion of some sort. Potion? I don't know what that is. Can we read the Bible? Like wine. Messed up. Oh, wine makes way more sense than potion. Mm. I mean, wine's a kind of a potion, I guess. Unmade bed. I gotta get up. Magic it's a magic potion. There's a that crossbow makes... in the corner. So what's that doing here? Ooh. The wine's a magic potion that makes my wife bearable. Wait, whose <laughs> room are we in? Uh, we're at their apartment. Yeah. Right, but are we in the servant's room or there? Because there's a bed there. I think this is like... This might be the servant's room. Yeah. Hmm. There's a fire poker, maybe? Oh, we only have three seconds? And that's, that's it for time. Let's, uh, take a gander at our evidence cards and pull out anything we saw that might be interesting. You found a clue! Oh. What?! Put it on the red area of the evidence board and search for more. Yeah, um, she she was supposed to come back and get... The, what was that? Devotional yeah. object? Yeah. yeah, that's a good no, thing. Was she religious? Or are they? On the table lies a book with a cross on the cover. Put card 19 back into the deck and try scanning the book's card instead. 24. You don't need to be fluent in Latin to recognize the book on the table as the Holy Bible. True. Great, you found two clues on the scene. Keep searching, there are three more. After you're done searching, you can ask Cedric and Nicole about the objects you've found. Oh, interesting. You can also visit your family by going home. Mm. They're always willing to help you. Finally, mm. you can use your dog, Percival, by scanning his card. That's the best part about this version mm. of the game. There's oh, a dog. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Remember that all your actions take in-game time. You can see the current time on the top right of the screen. Each scan takes five minutes, and traveling to a location takes 20 minutes. Solving the case oh. quickly may earn you bonus points. Ooh. Plan your actions wisely. For now, we suggest that you focus on finding the three remaining objects. Good luck! Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.